Bay Horse lovers. So it is like 5.30 in the morning and we got up at like 4.45 because I am going to do a 25 mile limited distance slash endurance ride with my Appaloosa Jiminy today. So I think it'll be really fun. I'm hoping that it goes really well and that you'll be able to kind of see what goes on during an LD and yeah, so hope you enjoy. We're headed to the ride, it's about an hour haul. Okay guys, so we just vetted in and I'm gonna show you my vet card so you can see an example. But basically the vet looks at the entire horse they look at them trot to evaluate soundness, impulsion, cramping, anything like that. They check their hydration level. They look at their eyes, mucus. They listen to their gut sounds and their heart rate. So you have to pass these vet checks at the beginning before the race before you even go out. And if you're doing a 25 or 30 in the middle after the first loop and then again at the end. So if you do not pass these, you're not able to continue and you can be pulled or the, if you're kind of close, like on the cusp, they'll kind of talk to you and then you can pull as a rider option. So it's a little nerve wracking, especially having a stock horse kind of trying, you know, to make sure you're taking care of your horse and doing everything you can um, to keep them healthy during the race. So I'm so glad they do this. Here is what my vet card looks like. So we have all A's so far. So he is ready to start. Okay guys, so we just fed it in. He did really well, passed everything, so yay. Um, we are gonna take all this stuff over. I got my hay pillow and then I got all my things here, like my electrolytes and stuff. And we're gonna go set those up. And this is what's gonna help us during the vet check so that we can keep his gut sounds good and help cool him, so yeah. Okay, so this is where everyone puts their stuff for the vet check, and I'll go over that in detail more later. Okay, I'm getting ready to mount up, and we're going to head out soon. I'm so excited. Hopefully it goes well. Jiminy's all ready to go. Okay, so right now I'm warming up before we head out on the trail, before the ride actually starts. I want to make sure that I walk around for a little while, get some circulation going, because we're going to start off trotting once we, you know, they open up the trail. So I'm just kind of walking around in this field, letting them stretch out a bit, and then we'll head over to the start line. Okay, so we're at the start line waiting for everyone to kind of get over here. We have a few more minutes before we head out. I'm getting excited, also a little nervous. We've been walking around for about 10, 15 minutes, so I wanna let them graze a little bit on and off before we actually do hit the trail. Guys, I am so excited. I really hope that he does well today, but my main focus is taking care of him and just completing. And this is Jiminy's sixth or seventh endurance ride. So we are ready. It's his third one this year and he's 20 years old. And he's been really successful so far. Okay, we're trotting in. We just did a three mile loop. Now we're gonna hit this other loop and then when we come back, we'll have our vet check. So far, so good. Um, right now we're in third place. We are quite ahead of the others right now. So I'm just letting him do his thing, but okay. also managing him at the same time.
So obviously during the ride, I'm definitely focusing on the trail and him, but I'm also thinking about management. So I have a stock horse. He's not an Arabian. So it's a, it's kind of a little bit of hocus pocus and awesome. keeping them healthy. So I might stop to let him graze, drink more. I'm trying to think of the management process when we get back to the vet check. That's what goes through my head. Okay, so we just finished our first 15 mile loop and we are heading into camp, which is where we'll have our second vet check. So right now walking in, I dismount a little ways back there and I loosen the girth so that he can cool a little faster. Because what I did after that is I walked over, I dumped like four to five buckets on him to cool him down. Again, he's a stock horse, so sometimes it takes a little bit longer for them to pulse down and I wanna give him every opportunity I can to get that heart rate down lower. So getting off, loosening that girth, dumping water, cooling, 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 letting him eat for just a second um, and then walking him over usually he pulses down really fast so i also am keeping him moving like this because again because of his muscling he's one to cramp up a little more so that's why i'm just going to kind of keep circling him because i want to keep him moving i want to keep those muscles warm and another thing i do is i do calcium gluconate which really helps with cramping especially with these stockier boys so right now she's taking his heart rate it has to go down to 60 so hopefully he pulses down pretty quick Normally, if I do what I need to do and I'm riding him correctly throughout the ride, he'll pulse down fast. Waiting. This is pretty good. It's not going to be instant. And it is a really humid day today as well. So I think he's about ready to hit. And we're good. Very good. That was excellent. I'm 55. really happy with that. So now we're off to see the vet where he'll look him over again. And this is kind of cool so you can see this process. And again, the things I'm talking about are what works for my horse specifically, for Jiminy. Different things work for different horses and it took me a few rides to figure it out. And I'm still very new to this sport, but it's definitely a learning curve, especially with a non-Arab. But it's been an incredible journey and I'm really excited that I even have the opportunity to do things like this. All right, time for a vet check. So he checked his heart rate and then we have to trot out to make sure the horse is moving soundly and there's no cramping or anything. So we're going to trot down and back. This is the part I just get really nervous about just because stock horses, it's easier for them to cramp up. So let's see. All right, stellar. He got all A's. Woohoo! Okay, so now you're required to have a 40 minute hold so the horse can eat, drink, cool down. So I'm going to cool him for a long time, especially with the muscling, but I'm mainly going to focus on his neck and where the saddle was because um, I want to keep his butt muscles warm. I don't want them to cramp up. Also, I made him a really soupy mash um, containing chaff hay, essential K, rice bran, salt, water. Um, it has some other minerals and stuff in it. So it's a big slop mess right now, but it'll get them really hydrated. And you can see all this other stuff. I have tons of buckets of water, sponging. I have electrolytes. I have calcium. So people? that's what we do. We set up all these things. Like everybody has their own individual little piles of things for the vet check. And every time, you know, you do a loop and depending on your mileage, you have all this supplies so that you can take care of your horse. 
definitely is difficult again with a stock horse we have to do a lot more management because they're just not as equipped for this but it's going good today okay we're getting ready to go back out really 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 happy with how this first loop went he i just let him do his thing and he just was gliding we are still in third place as of now and again that doesn't really matter i'm just here to complete but he is just rocking it so i'm super happy sorry it's a little foggy here um it's like super humid so everything keeps fogging up so the lens fogged up but i didn't want to not include this so we're just waiting for our timeout, which is 10.02 So yeah, I, it's all about managing your horse. This is what this sport is about. And I've definitely had learning curves, but it's just, it's awesome. It's an awesome experience. And when you're getting all A's on your card, you know that you're doing it right. You're going the right speed. You're managing your horse well. Again, you can do everything perfectly and things still come up. Like obviously, you know, anything can happen out there, but that's what's important to me that he's getting all A's. So we're gonna keep the same pace that we were and do everything that we are doing on the first loop and at the next vet check and hopefully we should be good to go um these guys i've been riding with have been really helpful as well they're pretty in seasoned endurance riders so i've been kind of listening to them and they've been giving a lot of great advice so i'm really thankful for all the wonderful people in this sport they're so supportive everybody's there to help you and that's what i love about it most and that it's about you know your personal record and how, you know, how much you can work with yourself and your horse. It's not about being in it to win it. The AERC motto is to finish is to win. So your completion is what you should be going after, your miles. Yes, it's fun to be competitive, but that kind of comes last, especially if you're new to the sport. All right, we're off to do our last loop. Wish us luck. Okay, guys, I'm walking in for my last loop and I'm going to cool him and then head over to see if he pulses down. So another thing, pulsing down, you can't go over to the vet until they pulse down to 60. So the thing is, if you go out and run your horse ragged, you're not going to pulse down and that's just going to put more time on your ride. So it's really important to manage your horse properly. And again, dismounting, loosening my girth, cooling my horse, then going over for the heart rate check is what I do. All right, he's taking a little bit longer to pulse down this time. We didn't go any faster, but I think my issue was I got excited and nervous about the check. So I only put a bucket on him and I should have put like four. So we're just waiting here. Hopefully he pulses down soon. This is on me. Last time I put four or five buckets on him. I don't know why I just did one. And we're almost there though. He's getting there. He's at 62 right now. Hopefully he makes it. Getting close. Again, I should have cooled him more, but that's okay. I'll remember that for next time. Went back up. Waiting, waiting. It's because he's moving a little bit. Back up again. and he pulls down a few seconds later, so pretty good. 
Okay, this is our last vet check and where we'll get our completion if he does pass. I'm hoping for good scores, but we will see. Fifty-five. No problem. All right, this is our last trot out. All right, guys, he got all A's. I'm so proud of him on every single check. So that means I was taking care of my horse and that he took care of me. So I'm gonna let him eat like a pig. I'm gonna cool him really good. I'm gonna clean him up, electrolyte him, give him more calcium, do everything I can to take care of this boy. Really proud of him. And we'll have to see what our placing was. right he ate and drank really good all day and i have the rump rug on to keep his butt warm keep him from cramping at all okay so since i top 10 i have to weigh in so we have to carry everything all of our tack helmet vest anything that we had on our horse we have to weigh in with so actually the heavier you, the heavier you are the better i am not that heavy so that's a little bit of a disadvantage to me for me but that's okay <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching our experience and I hope that you learned a little bit about endurance. If you loved it, subscribe.